The Create Group tool here is a simple little tool for quickly creating groupings of items, very similar to Lightwave's native Make Group tool, but with a few more options and a bit more functionality. Simply select all of the items that you want to create a group out of, in this case cameras, and hit the Create Group button. A dialog appears with a bunch of options. First of all, a group name. This is the name that will be given to the grouping null. In this case, I'll call it cam group. You have two modes in which it can work, either parent or constraint. We'll look first of all at parent. The group position option decides where the group null will be placed. Origin is at the world origin. Center is at the average position of the group selected items. And first is at the position of the first selected item. Group in place basically means parent in place. So with this checked, when the items are parented to the group null, they will remain in their current world position. With it off, they will maintain their current coordinates relative to wherever the group null is created. Whilst the match rotation option applies only to when you are using the first mode here. So let's start out just with the default settings here. We click OK. We see that we have a cam group null created there. It's been created at the world 000, and all of the cameras are parented to it there, just like that. Let's have another go. Once again, we'll just select all of the cameras there, hit create group, and this time we'll choose center as the option. You'll notice that now when we click OK, the group is created exactly the same as before, but the null is now at the average position of all four of the cameras there. You'll notice, of course, the cameras remained in place. Here, we'll do it again with the center option, but we'll turn group in place off when we click OK. What we now get is the null created at the average position of those four cameras in their original world position, but then they are parented not in place, and thus their positions relative to the group null are the same as their positions before the parenting operation. You can see, of course, if we leave the parent in place off and we just unparent them from the group null, they do, of course, go back to where they were. Next, I'll select this camera first, specifically before selecting the other three cameras there. Now, when I create group, I'm going to choose the first option, leave group in place on, and I'm also going to have match rotation turned on. What we see happens now when we click OK is the null is created at the position of that first selected item and its rotation is also matched to the rotation of that first selected item. And so the entire group operates from that first item like this, as if it were some sort of a master for the entire group. The next thing that we can do is, of course, to use the constraint mode. So here I'm going to select that camera first and then the other three cameras in no particular order. Go to create group. And this time, choose Constraint. I'm also going to use the first option there, so as we can see what goes on. What we have is essentially the same outcome, except this time the cameras have not been parented. They have been constrained to this set of nulls here. You can see each camera there has its own individual constraint null that it is attached to. Functionally, of course, this is no different to what we've been doing with parenting. It's very much set up like a parent constraint. The real difference comes from the fact that it is channel selection aware. So what I can do is do that same kind of selection again here, and I'm going to turn off rotation and scale, but I'm going to leave the pitch rotation turned on here. So now I create group in constraint mode. Again, I'm going to keep it first, hit OK. And what we now see is that, of course, when we move that group null, the whole group translates around with it. However, when we rotate it, for instance, here on heading, you see that the cameras keep their own heading. They are not making a heading mode constraint. But of course, when we pitch it, they will pitch along like this. And we can use this in other interesting ways. So perhaps we'll turn on all of the rotation channels, none of the position do a create group, use it in constraint mode, put the group null at the center there, click OK. Now, of course, our group null moves around and, of course, the cameras stay in place. But we can rotate the group null and you see that the cameras rotate as a group.
similarly we might use the position channels only create group let's put the null at the origin again in constraint mode click ok and we see that whilst the cameras move with the group null when the group null is rotated the cameras hold their keyframed rotation like this on of course all available channels so with this tool you can create an awful lot of different types of group behavior if you just want to create a simple parent grouping or if you want to create a more channel specific parent constraint style grouping all of this can be done with the create group tool